Crow here, and I'm kind of in a video pinball mood. Um, so I'm going to play some family pinball on, uh, well, it's, this is for the Famicom, but I'm going to play it on my NES with the help of this homemade Famicom adapter I made. Um, any of you who've, who've seen this thing, I still have not put a ribbon on it or anything, so <laughs> I don't know. Um, what does it do? But this game, um, Family Pinball, is, it was actually released in the U.S. as this game, Rockin' Ball. Uh, now, I liked Rockin' Ball. I actually had um, had this when I was younger, and I played it a lot. But I had to get this copy because of the differences. See, uh, this one was actually made by Namco. Uh, and, and it actually has some Pac-Man in there. Whereas this one, when it was released over here, was had nothing... I mean, it was basically just a game they brought over. They replaced all the Pac-Man elements, changed some of the other stuff. So I'm going to pop this one in and uh, play this. Um, let's see. this got to put the cartridge in. Up. Oops. Turning on the NES before I even put the game in. So let's do that. Ah, why, why, why? <laughs> okay, there we go. Now that kind of surprised me because... I was actually playing this the other day, and it was working fine. In fact, the NES I had taken apart, and I removed um, the lockout chip, uh, because sometimes the lockout chip can, can uh, cause the game not to um, not to read as well, just because, you know, whatever. So, you know, the NES, this is actually a different NES too, and I removed the lockout chip. This thing is cleaned up. It was probably just a bad connection with their, you know, so, okay. There's four different modes. Let's do the first mode first. Um, see, we have different characters to choose from. Now, you may be wondering, why does that even matter in a pinball game? But each character has a different set of flippers, and they and they kind of act differently, too. Some people have huge flippers. Some people have smaller flippers, um, you know, faster flippers, slower pickers, fi um, flippers. I'm just going to pick Pac-Man. <coughs> so this is the Pac-Man table, which actually is something else in the U.S. version. The layout's exactly the same, uh, but it's there's no Pac-Man elements in it. And it seems like, I don't know if it's just me, but I remember the, uh, the music in the uh, U.S. version being different. Not, not that it's um, different music, but the notes were different. Like... I, I don't know what it is. It's, it's, um, so, yeah, anyway, I just lost the ball. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, this is just a basic, uh, pinball table. I did play this one quite a bit. You get those three, uh, drop targets there, and you get an, an item. You're worth some points. It's a really good game. Um, I think you active, those activate bumpers. Or the, not the bumpers, but the the peg in the middle to prevent you from draining the ball down the middle. And that hole there just drained my ball. <laughs> so I'm not doing too good. I'm already on my last ball here. But yeah, those ghosts are gone. And uh, like even the Pac-Man fruit, I don't think. Well, I don't know if the Pac-Man fruit remained or not. I just don't remember that. Come on, you. Ah, thought maybe I could get all three of those targets. Ah, okay, well, there there you go. I just played one round of that. Um, so I did really bad, as you can see. <laughs> Let's add that. I'm going to show some other modes. Another mode I used to play a lot was this one. Um, now, they have different modes, and I used to play 10 balls. And basically what you do is... This screen comes up, and you have to try and drop the balls in these targets to, to kind of do like a, a tic-tac-toe thing. There's other, like you can get the four corners and stuff. And every time you do that, you'll, you'll earn points. Um, but first you have to stop it when you think, when these multipliers. And sometimes getting the multipliers right is really hard to do. So let's see if I could stop it on a good one. Oh, shoot, it was just so slow. So, yeah, I, I usually just bet all my money off the bat. So, you, you uh, plunge the ball and hope it drops in one of these holes. You can bump the machine by pushing 
right and the B button. Um, there we go, let's get in there. And uh, the flippers are hitting left and the A button. Um, to plunge the ball is down. I used to play this game a lot, and it's this actually this mode was my favorite mode for whatever reason. I don't know why I played this this mode a lot. And you do have to bump the table in order to get it into the holes you want it in. And also trying not to drain the ball sometimes if it... Come on. Because if it dr drops right down the side, it's gonna... You're gonna lose the ball. <laughs> and there we go, there's another one. Uh, just look at, at my computer, seeing how I'm recording. Making sure I, I didn't screw the audio up like I did for the past couple of videos. Come on, go in there. Go that way. Don't go that way. The other way. <laughs> and there we go. Right in there. Yeah, and for some reason, I don't know if it's the NES. It, you know what it may be? It may be the audio is because I'm not playing it on an actual Famicom. That may be. I, I do have a Famicom, but it actually... I just lost the ball. I do have a Famicom, but it does not work. Um, and then I do have a Famiclone, but I'm just playing it in the NES anyway. <laughs> Perhaps I should have played this in the Famiclone. Because <laughs> I don't think the music is supposed to sound like this. I mean, the notes are right, it's just that I think the, the wrong, it's a wrong tone, or, I, I, I don't know how to describe it, not being a musician or anything. <laughs> Come on, get up there. Come on, you. Come on, in there! Alright, see, we've got a line, that means we're gonna actually win some money. So let's see if we can get, can't get any more to match up. Come on, oh. Would have been nice if I had that one, because that would have been another row. Last ball. Alright, get in there. Get, go, 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 go. Right there. Come on, come on. If I could get that plus, I think that's worth a, a lot of money, too. Come on. So if you, like, play this and you don't match anything, it's like instant game over. You lose all your money, especially since I bet all my money. <laughs> but I don't know why I was so addicted to this mode. I mean, it still is kind of addictive, and I just lost that ball. Uh, so I matched one, which means I just won all the money back, I bet. So that's pretty much it for... I mean, it just continues to you lose all your money. So how do we, let's just reset the game here and try the other modes. The, now the other modes are two player modes. So I'm actually gonna play this against the computer. There's three different tables here. It's like head to head pinball. So let's try Bomber. I'll be Pac-Man and I get to choose my opponent. I'll choose this devil guy here. <laughs> we'll try his three set match. So yeah, he could shake the machine. I could shake the machine at him. Um, he could bring the flippers forward, now I could bring, bring that flipper forward, too. Try and slam dunk it somehow. <laughs> Alright, oh, no, 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 go back in there, oh, he saved it. Now the ball's gonna explode. If a ball explodes on his side, shoot, get on his side. Oh, I just lost anyway. <laughs> All right, now I'm up and he's down. All right. Oh, that's on my side. I never really liked this mode all that much for some reason. Uh -huh. All right. Oh man. 
and I could win it a couple times. I I'm just not doing that good. I, I haven't really played this mode in forever. See, there's like special power-ups, like the, the uh, ball uh, gonna blow up. Uh, there's also where you can stun your opponent's flippers, and it's just by hitting those bump bumpers. Oh, it, it exploded on his side, so I want, I got that one. Alright, his turn. Going to my way. Right. Come on. Just shake the machine just to try and screw him up. Because I don't think you can tilt. Oh, I got invisible flippers. <laughs> I forgot about that. That does kind of mess with you. Oh, 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 no, 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 looks like I lost that match. So yeah, it's always like two out of three. Yeah, but that's one set, so I'm not going to continue that anymore. I'm just going to show you the last mode. Which is sports. Of course, there were other tables, but they're very similar. Uh, sports, and there's two. Soccer and hockey. I'm going to do soccer. Um, you know, I'll be... I don't know who to be. I'll be this little girl here. And I'll fight against this Viking. Viking girl. <laughs> now, the, the, ho air, uh, the hockey table is very similar, except that the goal post is up in a net. If the ball goes behind it, it, it gets automatically gets shot out. So we have this flipper here, FA on your offense, and then you control the defenseman on, uh... Oh. Uh. Okay, shoot him up. Yeah, I scored! <laughs> so yeah, the flipper, you can move back and forth and spin. Like that. Oh, I'm up here now. Oh, I was not expecting that. Oh, you can hold the ball? How, how do you hold the ball? I think that might have just been a weird, uh... He's doing it. He's holding it. He's got to be holding it. Come on. Oh, I didn't realize it, but A flips one way and B flips the other way. Okay. Oh, oh I was holding it. I was supposed to hit up. <laughs> Ooh, I almost... Oh! <laughs> yeah, I can't hold it for, like, a limited time. But man, this is hard. So, yeah, I, I lost that one. I'm just gonna say it's, uh... I lost that one. I'm not gonna bother playing three games set. But that is basically rock and ball four different pinball modes in one you know back in the day the game this game was a bunch of fun so uh, yeah thanks everyone for watching see you next time bye so uh you cooking dinner are you offering dinner no i'm saying make me dinner